Volvo has been flirting with the idea of being out and out stylish for the past five years or so, and as part of its SUV range alongside the XC90 and XC60 is this, the XC40. But it's not just a big SUV that's been hit by a shrink ray. It sits on an all new compact modular architecture, which means it's not limited or restricted by the dimensions or internal gubbings of its siblings, unlike some other similar sized SUVs. But it's the style that really catches your eye. I mean, the designers have really gone to town on this with more lines and creases on it than, well, any other Volvo. And to prove a point, Volvo has even sent us the optional ice white pack. So cheers for that. But at the end of the day, safety, practicality, and cost effectiveness are all synonymous with the Volvo brand. And it's still got to compete with the BMW X1 and the Audi Q3. So let's take a look. Well, it certainly feels like it's modeled itself off its bigger siblings in terms of quality and style on the interior, which is a very good thing. It also means that loads of high quality kit is thrown in as standard, including this great nine inch touchscreen in the center and this brilliant instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. Now other standard kit also includes the likes of sat nav and two zone climate control. Now we have the Momentum Pro Trim, which includes the likes of heated seats, cornering lights to help when you're driving on dark country roads, and an electrically adjustable driver's seat. And we've also got this city map inlay, which is fair the testament to Volvo's new farm flair. Now you can actually have this fitted as a free option, if that's your kind of thing. And one thing you may notice is just the sheer lack of buttons in here. I mean, yes, you've got this strip here, but that's about it, really. I mean, everything else is thrown into this nine inch touchscreen, which is very easy and intuitive to use. I mean, okay, it takes a bit of time to get used to using it, but after you've figured out all the main functions like aircon and radio, it's chocks away. But to be honest, I'm being picky. I mean, the overall quality and fit and finish of this interior is excellent. It feels like an upmarket car, the type you wouldn't mind taking a long motorway journey in. And even down to things like practicality, the fact that Volvo have taken the speaker from down the door bin and put it higher up on the door to give you more storage is very useful. And speaking of storage, you are spoiled for choice here in the cabin. There's loads of little cubbies and compartments to choose from. Now, when you sit back here, it's very airy and very comfortable. I mean, I've got loads of leg room, I've got loads of head room, and it's just very easy to move about back here. Okay, this seat is set up for me, but ridiculous to make a point if you move it all the way back, you've still got a decent amount of space. I mean, okay, there's not loads of room, but certainly better than a lot of SUVs. Now, the one gripe I have got with back here is this slightly high window ledge and this massive bit of plastic here, which could make maybe some passengers feel a bit claustrophobic and can actually create a blind spot at times for the driver. Now, okay, it is there for style purposes, give and take, I suppose. But apart from that, yeah, it's pretty spot on back here. £300 option on our model, if you want that. Now, at 460 litres with the seats up and 1,336 litres with the seats down, the XC40 isn't the biggest out there, but thanks to its square, no-nonsense shape, you can make the most of it by pushing things right into the corners. And also, no load lift, which means loading large objects in and out is very easy. And if you go for the optional £350 convenience pack that we've got, you get the likes of extra interior charging points, you get power folding rear seats and most importantly i think anyway you get this handy luggage divider here which is really good if you've got shopping you don't want it rolling around or maybe even a laptop bag now as this is a volvo let me start by just going through some safety features first now, as standard, all models get the likes of city safety detection, which can apply autonomous emergency braking if anyone runs in front of the car. You also get the likes of lane keeping assist, which can nudge you back into your lane if your attention strays. And you also get a feature which tightens the seat belts if you inadvertently go off the road. But if you really want to take the Swedishness to another level, you can go for the optional £1,500 IntelliSafe Pro Pack, which brings the likes of adaptive cruise control with blind spot detection and pilot assist, which can almost drive the car for you, provided you're in a lane. Okay, so it still needs tweaking in places, but overall, it's pretty handy to have if you're on a particularly long motorway journey or if you need to 
glance across to the touchscreen and maybe tweak the radio or aircon. When it comes to driving characteristics, Volvo doesn't try to force feed you any BS with the XC40. By that, I mean you get exactly what you'd expect from a Volvo. No, it's not fun in the conventional sense of the word, but it is comfortable, sure-footed, and its cushy suspension swallows bumps with ease, but doesn't feel overly bouncy or wallowy. No, it's not a Jag, it's not a BMW, but it doesn't try to be. And most importantly, it doesn't feel like a big, clunky SUV on the road. And to be honest, your average driver's not really going to be able to tell the difference between this and your average hatchback in terms of personality anyway. The engine we're testing is a 2 litre 150 horsepower diesel, which pulls really well low down the revs and is great for nipping out of junctions. Yes, the diesel can get loud at times, especially when you rev it out, and this 6 speed manual gearbox doesn't really encourage quick shifting, but get it up to speed on the motorway and it will happily cruise along. And its claimed average of 57.6 miles per gallon is pretty spot on. Expect anything upwards of 50 miles per gallon. Now, aside to fuel economy, you're looking at 128 grams per kilometre of CO2. Now, that equates to a 33% BIK tax bracket for 2019 and 2020. Price tag-wise, the XC40 starts from £29,000, with our test model and its numerous extras coming in at £36,300. OK, so it's not going to win any sports car enthusiasts over, but Volvo doesn't really care about that. What it might do, however, is attract some new customers because of its new found style. And so it should, because it looks great. Most importantly, though, it manages to swerve the whole style over substance stigma associated with small SUVs. It's not just a gimmicky, scaled-down version of a big SUV. It does its own thing, and it does it really well.